Hello? Yes, hi, is that David? Yes? I'm calling from Comcast Help Support. I see you uh, had an issue with the TV streaming tonight. Can I help you? Um, how'd you get my number? You're a customer? How'd you get my number? You're a subscriber and you sent a complaint to Comcast Cares? Uh, yeah, but this number isn't with Comcast Cares. Uh, it's, it's registered with us, sir. You're our, you're a subscriber. We have your information. Okay, how do you have... Uh, okay, that really kind of creeps me out that you have my Twitter and all that stuff connected to, uh, to the streaming, you to, send, to uh, my you, account information and all that. You hit agree on the EULA on Xfinity, and you agreed to that, so I don't know what to tell you, sir. Wait, I say that again. I what? You hit agree on the EULA on the extended user limitations agreement on the terms of service when you got with the uh, with Comcast Xfinity most recently when you went to stream. So that that gives you the right to to connect my Twitter and phone number. It's all yeah. All the cookies work like that. Yeah, it all has hooks into your social media. Of course they do, sir. How else are we going to wow, use marketing that's, information? That's- it's how that's mo- really that's really creepy. We're your cable company, sir. What do you want? We know where you live too. Does that creep you out? Anyway, how can I help well, you out? What's wrong with your streaming? Well, the the streaming every time it goes to a commercial, the streaming it, it never comes back. It's just not every time, but a lot of the times when you're watching when you're watching streaming service, uh, it goes to and this is a general thing I found it in all different areas. It, it and, and with all different shows, when you're watching, uh, it goes to, um, uh, like, say, you're, say I'm watching, uh, like, I was wa- watching uh, The Last Battleship last night, blah, 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 uh, and the night before I was watching American Pickers or whatever whatever order it was in, uh, it would go to, um, I don't want to say, it would go to commercial, like the second commercial, and then never come back from it and just be stuck uh, on, a blank, on a black well, screen. Yeah, well, uh, your account's been red and it flag. happens and it happens all the time. And I, I, I go and I refresh it, and after I refresh it, uh, it it'll go back to right before the commercial, and then as soon as it goes to the commercial, it goes to the black screen again. Okay, are you done? Um, yep. Your your account's been uh, red flagged for hopping, actually. So hopping? Yeah, that's why that's happening. Yeah, you get a. Uh, it's a red flag on your account so that you'll call in so that we can explain the issue with hopping. Um, yeah, um, I guess you have you have a certain limit of commercials that you can skip on your uh, per billing cycle, sir. And after you hit a certain I don't, limit... I don't really skip the commercials. I sit, th- I sit through the commercials. I don't well, do you're, on, and- you're on the low plan for hop for hops. You have low a low hop plan. That's why. <laughs> well... Are you, are, really? At yeah. the, it, we spend three hundred bucks, over three hundred dollars a month, mm-hmm. on cable and phone services, and you're telling me that we're on a low plan. Uh, you're on the low plan for the hopping. Yeah, you don't have as many hop hops available as some of our other plans. By the way, does hop only work with streaming? Uh, it works with all Xfinity online and with uh, the uh, actual streaming to your set-top box for on-demand and uh, any DV- okay. and your DVR watching also. So if I skip the commercials during DVR watching, yep. so if I'm watching a show and I skip the commercials, that's mm-hmm. what does it? Yeah, of course, because this way it's not as expensive for our customers that don't skip the commercials, obviously. And if you want, if you'd like the ability to skip through the commercials, then yeah, you can. You pay the, uh, you can pay a ho- the hopping fee. It, it charges you per hop, or you can get on one of the plans. Uh, we got an unlimited hopper. If you're interested in that, we can add that to your plan. And what does that cost? It's thirty nine ninety nine, and that covers all your sets and ah, all ah, your ah, online ah, accounts. Ah, 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 ah. Wow, that's that's insane. That's that's the, the whole. Oh God! What I mean, do, do you, you do understand how the the revenue I mean, model no, 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 for no, no, you know what the revenue model for television is, right, sir? I'm just gonna. I'm gonna tell you right now. Um, uh, as far as hopping commercials, 
Um, the fact that you're charging with like that. They, Oh, Christ. Sir, I, um, it's for the pla- the you you understand how the the revenue for, for, mar- model. For, for, listen, for, sir, for, please, for, please, uh, please. You understand how the revenue model works for the television industry. You watch commercials. Those advertisers pay money to the to the network so that they can provide you with this entertainment. That's how it works. So how do you? Yes, I understand. Yeah, I, I, I understand. So that you're saying I, you just want to watch the content for free and not have to pay for the, the to watch the commercials? No, no, no. I'm not saying that. You understand how it works? Look, if it if, if you're going to worry about if you're going to sit there and charge me extra for hopping commercials when I'm already paying three hundred dollars a month to watch your channels, I will glad one gladly go over to ATT and two I will quickly start tweeting the shit out of this uh, and and. Three, I also feel you were incredibly rude when you asked if I would, when you when you sat there and said, "Are you done talking?" Uh, that's incre- that, that, that that's just rude. Uh, and you wonder why. And I and when I say you, I mean you in general, as in Comcast as a whole, wonders why you have you're, you're rated dead last in customer satisfaction. Oh, we're um, turning that around. <laughs> we're turning that around. No, you're not. Yes, we you're are. Not turning that around. But no, no, because you. One, you were rude to me to begin with when I was trying to explain my stance. And two, this this is just unbelievable. The fact that we're paying... Okay, we're paying for TV. I understand that you're getting revenue from commercials, but uh, we're also paying to watch this shit. So your model of... Language, please, uh, please, uh, please, please, please. Your model... Of charge, yeah, basically, you're double charging. You're charging people. To, you're, you're charging the advertising companies to place those that to, to, for you to place those ads during the television shows that you're airing. Now, if this was still the age of broadcast where everything was over the air and you couldn't directly charge customers, and there was only three channels and Comcast didn't exist, then yeah, that model would work. In fact, that model worked for years. But as soon as you started charging people. To pipe that stuff in, you're now double charging. What you're doing is you're charging the advertisers to place their commercials in the shows that you stream and broadcast to television customers. When you then charge television customers for a DVR, which a DVR, let's be realistic, a DVR was designed not only to record shows, but the fast forward button is so you can go through the commercials. The com- the no, it's not. No, that's not what it's designed yes, for. Yes, no, yes, yes, no, yes, no. Sorry. When you sign stop, up for it, you, when you lease your DVR, stop. you're agreeing not to use it for those purposes, sir. It's not. It's not our fault if you oh, don't that, follow the terms of service. That's a load. Yeah. Well, that's in. It's no. not our fault if you're not following the terms of service, sir. That's another story. That's another story. Right, you if you what? abuse you, you your service. You're right. If I'm not following the terms of service, then you should cancel my account, and I'm going to go over at and Well, I'll let you know. AT and T charges these fees also. Say what? And you're you're more than welcome to get an antenna, get these channels for free. Okay. Well, yeah, go ahead and do that, but you're not going to have internet service with us. We're not. We're going to cut you I, off there. I, I, I'm fine with that. You're go ahead and pay AT and T sixty dollars. Pay AT and T sixty dollars a month for a phone line. Go ahead and do that. Enjoy that. Go ahead. No problem. Actually, their triple play is less than yours. So I, I've already been looking this up. So no, if, you really wa- if you really want to text me, that's fine. I'll, I'll go check it out and sign up with them and transfer all everything right. over. Because I believe all I have to do is call them up and say, yes, I'd like to transfer over my services. Which, by the way, your phone services suck. They really suck. Hey, hey, hey. So language, what- please, please. Please. Suck is not a bad word. And if you think suck is a bad it's word, slander. Then you need to go back to grade school. Slander. Please. No slander. Please. Slander. Please. Where's slander. Tell me where the slander is. Saying we suck is slander. Where... slander. That's slander. Please. Slander is, not... slander is. No. Slander would be if I announced that to the world. You are obviously not an attorney. You work in customer support. You're sitting there calling people. At 10 o'clock at night, which I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to do. Well, I'm trying to so close as many really tickets as I can to, this month. Really, I, I have to close as many tickets as I can in June. All right. I have to close as many tickets, uh, satisfied customer tickets I know, as I can I in June. I want your supervisor. Huh? Oh, Jesus. Really? Yeah. All right. Hang on.
Mr. McClanahan. Hello? Yes, how can I help you? I'd like, hi, I'd like to file a complaint with whoever it was who just called me at 10 o'clock at night. Okay, uh, that would be uh, Cross that you were just on with? I guess. Okay, and what would the complaint be regarding? Uh, he was incredibly rude. Um, he tried to basically call, basically told me I don't know anything. Um, what, and when I say rude, uh, he started this, he started it with about, uh, I think the third, his third response in was, are you done talking? Okay. I, I apologize. Uh, uh, he's been on report before. Um, and imagine why. Uh, also, it's it's right now, and I, I, I see on my cell phone, and I, I, I pointed out, like I mentioned, I said, how do you have, he said, I see you made a complaint uh, on uh, uh, Twitter. I mm-hmm. said, how is it you have my cell phone number? Uh, well, you are you are a Comcast customer, so we do have your account, your telephone number on account. But I asked, I asked the question, I asked the question, he treated me like an idiot. Oh, he, he, he asked, and, asked and he, you asked him, and he I treated would. you like an idiot. Say what? What you're saying is you asked him this question, and then he treated you uh, in like a, an idiot. Uh, not an idiot, but he treated you like you were a buffoon? Yes. You can use any word you want. You can use buffoon, you can use idiot, and then he threatened me with legal language that he doesn't understand, not realizing that actually I come from a family of attorneys. Oh, clearly he's he's not an attorney. He's not even he wouldn't be on the level even of a paralegal. Thank you. Now here's here's my complaint. What I said to him and what I had tweeted, and all I said was uh, on the Twitter was, "Why does your streaming service suck?" Right. And the reason I said that was because every time I went to a commercial on streaming, mm-hmm. uh, the show would just cut out. Okay. It would go to, a, and it's not every time, but it's 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 maybe 50 percent of the time. I'll be watching the show, and it happens repeatedly. I'll refresh the screen. Uh, I'll, I'll 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 go back, and and when it refreshes, it'll go right. It'll go to about like maybe ten seconds before the commercial, and then it'll go to commercial, and mm-hmm. it'll cut out. Oh, okay. And so I and I'll actually pull up the tweet right now. And what I said was. Uh, in when he, uh, what, where is it? I said, hey, Comcast, why does your TV st- uh, streaming suck at Comcast Cares? Okay, now he and, just sent me a, uh, uh, a copy of a supposed tweet that you sent, and it said, uh, why the fuck are you messing with my DVR? You guys suck dick. Now, this is, I'm, I'm reading this verbatim. This is what the last representative sent me. He said he got this straight from Twitter. Okay, I would like to see that because I'm looking at my Twitter right now, mm-hmm. and he w- I don't know how he would find something like that because I don't see that on my Twitter. Okay, um, so nothing like so, that was was ever said? Not that I remember. Okay, now do you drink? Uh, that's insulting. I'm sorry? Uh, that's a little insulting, not to mention private information. Oh, I'm well, sorry, I, I, I mean, I, you, I've, I've known sorry, people that drink that just don't understand and don't remember I'm things. Gonna, I'm, They're I'm on sorry, Ambien, sorry, they cook rice. I'm sorry, what you're doing is you're implying that I'm an alcoholic and I get blackout. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, I, I'm yeah, not an I'm alcoholic sorry, and no, I no, enjoyed no, some no, drinks, no, you know? No, no, no. That's, that's no, incredibly no, insulting. No, 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 you're okay. you're getting to the level that he was at. I'm sorry? I'm, I feel that, that gets to the level he was at. Oh, okay. You want, so you want to talk? All right, hang on. I'll, I'll transfer you back to him. No. This is Cross. How can I help you? I'd like your supervisor to answer this. You again? What do you want? What are you? Hey, are you your talk- supervisor again? Don't be talking shit about me, man. Because I fucking don't language. Need that. Oh, shit, he got. All right. Uh, supervisor. Brad. This is Brad. I'm the supervisor. Can I help you? Um, yes, I'm calling because apparently your staff d- doesn't have any respect for the customer. What are you talking about? Well, I just what hap- had... What happened? Supposed, okay, I was dealing with someone named Cross, uh, who 
was incredibly rude to me. And then I asked for a supervisor. He's probably not that on the one. Uh, the supervisor just told me that he had uh, he had, had a, a, a complaint against him before. Um, I told I was telling the supervisor what had happened. He said, "Well, Cross just sent me a message that said you sent this uh, about sucking di- about Comcast sucks dicks." And then I said, "I don't remember doing that." And then I was asked, oh, "Does this really great. bother you that much? Just smoke yes, some weed does. or something, mellow out. What's wrong with you?" This does. But you guys call this... me at ten o'clock at night. This isn't about us, is it? It's about something else. You're just unhappy with your life or something. Really? Uh, yeah. I mean, what are you doing? Why are you complaining about this? Why don't you go have sex or something? Because you're... What's your name, sir? My name is Brad. Brad what? Brad who? Brad, what is your last name? H O O. H O O. Yes, who? Okay. Do you want to talk to the floor supervisor, Mrs. Bjork? I would love to talk to whoever is the highest up. Because, I, I mean, I, seriously, I can't listen to you right now. If you want to talk to Mrs. Bjork, I can put her on, I guess. Hello, this is Mrs. Bjork. Hi, Mrs. Bjork. Um, I just... One was, was felt that... It's but okay. It's okay. Take one step at a time. It's okay. Say what? It once. It's okay. I just. I want you to be calm and go ahead and talk to me I'm in an very, orderly I, fashion. I've I, I tried to be calm, uh, and I'm okay, trying to explain right. exactly just, what happened. Okay. Uh, I got a call at ten o'clock at night. Okay. Asking why I was having problems with my Comcast service. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was trying to explain it and someone by the name of Cross mm. uh, asked and the fact that you're going hmm uh, and I was already yeah, told we've, that we've had, had some complaints uh, about him but go ahead Okay, uh, he said are you done talk-? I was trying to explain my problem and why I was upset mm. and he said are you done talking uh, and then it got a little heated Okay, I never swore um, and okay. he, well, if I swore, I might have said, and pardon my language now, shit. Oh, my God. I never God. swore directly at him. Wow. Uh, and he continued to be incredibly rude. I asked for a supervisor. Okay. He, he acted like, really, you're going to do this to me? Mm-hmm. Uh, and I said, yes, I demand a supervisor. He passed okay. me a supervisor. I was trying to explain to the supervisor what had happened. Mm-hmm. Apparently, while I was on the phone with, or speaking with the supervisor, he sent him messages that I said, Comcast, or, and again, pardon my language, uh, the, the, the supervisor I was speaking with said, Brad sent me a message saying that you sent this text, da 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 and include Comcast sucks dick. I said, I don't remember sending that. And oh, then the okay. supervisor said, sir, wow. you drank, which I find incredibly offensive. Uh, because one, I'm a recovering alcoholic. Oh, uh, there it is. Say what? Uh-huh. Uh, so I find that offensive. Uh, not that he knows that, but the fact that he would say that to somebody. Um, and I, I'm not, I'm going to admit it, got bent out of shape with him. Again, did wow. not swear at him. And okay. then he said, uh, sent me back to Cross, uh, I, and he said, hello, this is Cross, and da 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 and I said, mm-hmm. I'd like to talk, I'd me back to your supervisor, he said, oh, you again, and I'm quoting, man, don't go talking shit about me. Then he sent me mm-hmm. to another supervisor, and the supervisor said, why, really, are you, and again, I'm paraphrasing and trying to remember as much as I can, mm-hmm. but his name is Brad Who. Okay. Said, you aren't really upset about your streaming. You're just upset about your life. Why don't you go get laid, have sex, or do something? Mm. Okay. Now we've been a cu- we've been Comcast customers for I don't know how many years. We well, spent let me over let me go ahead and interrupt. Is that is that at the point at which you got to me? Yes. 
Okay. I didn't catch I I, more than half of what you said because I really didn't give a shit. So, um, wow. I think you should take, it's, it's kind of like the, the grand master here. You know, you go up the ladder, the, the, the first person you talk to, and then the second person you're going up and, you know, if someone's knocking you down, dude, and telling you, you need to get a fucking life, then get a fucking life. What's take the tips, man. What's your name? You don't, my name is Mrs. fucking Bjork. Bjork. Is that, did you fucking forget my name? You wrote every fucking goddamn thing down that everybody else said. And you couldn't fucking remember my down. name. Wrote, Who the fuck I are you? You better get this fucking down. down. B, how do you spell that? B J O R K. Yeah, B J. Like you're never gonna get one. Hey, everybody! It's the forty year old virgin right here on the fucking air. Wow, you are a cunt. Ooh, do you even know what that is? Have you ever seen one? Have you ever smelled one? Have you ever touched one? Have you ever licked one? Have you ever done anything with one? Aside from your mom's? Do you even know your mom? Uh, Who are you? Oh, my God. Ugh. Okay. You're so well, filthy. Thank you very oh, my much. God. Hey, guess what? It's fucking legal now. You can marry your gay lover. Congratulations. Oh, wow. Are you? Congratulations. Are, I'm so you sorry that you're, you're, you know, are, do you actually your gay porn channels people? weren't available to you tonight. <laughs> hey, by the way, I, we're I'm prank callers, you idiot. Yay. You've been <laughs> butt slammed on 103.1 <laughs> The Gerbil. Yeah, we got you. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, you're a poop head. You're on the Nader internet. Got him. Got him. 98.6. No. Yeah. Bart so what do you think, sir? Wow, really? You're on phone bones. You're on phone bones follies. Whoop, whoop. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, I'm Jayad. Did we get you good? I'm Carly Do. This is Brad. Oh, he's coming straight from the underground. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. I'm the inward with attitude. Are you angry or do you are you amused? You're- Please let us know. You're the nigger with attitude. Jesus. Oh my god. You're gonna get us a fine by the FCC. Yeah. Jesus. Really? That you're, you're gonna go with that with you're gonna say N word instead of nigger? Really? You watch your mouth. You're such a nagger, God. It. I you're gonna, who you're gonna offend mouth? the college man. Oh, wash your mouth out with soap. Hey, so how awesome is it that you can marry your boyfriend now legally? I'll wash your dusting. mouth out with semen. <laughs> I'm going to hit you, you in the face with a broom, fucker. It's a prank call. Do you want to go to our website? Yeah, it's a prank call, and it's a shitty prank call. It's kind of Why are you still night. on? I don't know. We hooked you pretty fucking good. Yeah. <laughs> you got pretty pissed <laughs> off. Do you want to go to our website? <laughs> oh, we're it's so weird. stupid. Does this Do you really complain this much about people? Oh, my God. You had everything down. You said everything I said. Yeah, when people are fucking assholes just like yourself. chill, dude. Yeah, just chill. It's really, just, it's you, just you TV. Sit there, you sit it kind of sounds like Nashby, doesn't it? Oh, do you have a talk it sounds that. like you're just unhappy with your life. David, listen. Oh, and, and you look guys, at his Twitter, guys, and he's a stand-up comedian. <laughs> oh, my God, really? David, I don't. I don't even watch the TV anymore. You know what I mean? Why are you getting so upset about it? Let, let me read a little, uh, a little excerpt from you Twitter. You should start drinking Sta- more, sir. Stand, stand-up yeah, comic who loves a good story, ready to point out and call him bullshit. <laughs> if you're here, just say fuck it and follow me already. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how come you couldn't call bullshit on that yeah. funny guy? I'm, honestly, honestly, I'm, honestly, I'm gonna fucking. You know what? Honestly, I'm. I, I want to check out your website. What's your website? Uh, no thanks. Do you have Go Tourette's away. or something? What's wrong with <laughs> well, you? Why don't you just start drinking again, though? Really? But you we sound all, like you did. It's hard not to drink. Hey, it's hard it's not, not to like drink. You, have the shades already. you guys really are pathetic assholes. You know that? Hey, man. Come on. Now be respectful. We're comedians and you're a comedian. You know not to do that with so, the You guys friend. aren't fucking comedians. I'm a fucking comedian. You guys are douchebags calling people <laughs> unaware and fucking prank call- Prank calling went out with egg gankers. And the fucking no, it didn't. Boy. You want to go to our website? You're, we have a lot of sponsors. Shit. We have a lot of sponsors. You can go to our website. You'll probably be upset. Congratulations. Go to it now. Glo- fu- GloryHoleFoundation.com. Look, Hitler had followers, too. That didn't make him fucking good. Wow, I will not know how that many followers. We have more no, followers. Is that one of the jokes that you good. tell on stage? 
I, I, Got I'm, I'm glad you have Got followers. Got I really am. Go to our website. Come on, tell us what you think. Register on there. I'd love to go to your website. What's your website? GloryHoleFoundation.com, because this is the Glory Hole Foundation Network. So GloryHoleFoundation.com. We started off as a World of Warcraft guild, and we became a prank call network. Yeah, sure. Yeah. On Saturdays, we meet up and play Power Rangers in the park. You act as if we're the type of people to lie to you. Yeah. Go there now. You see, tell, us, tell me if you can see the video and all that. that you're on. Yeah, sure. You're not going to go to the website, are you? No, I'm not. Why not? Beg it. You know, it's not too late. Seven uh, <laughs> Eleven's still open. Go out and get some alcohol. Start yeah. drinking again. Oh, yeah. Why don't you go master? While you're there, ask about the Diet Coke recall that they've had recently. What did you try like? not to? What was your thing? Vodka? What wow! Did you, what did you get in I trouble with? Really are fucking ridiculous. Were you a wino? Try, try not to yell at the clerk for being rude to you. Hey, or anything sir, like that. he's I gone. Don't, no, he doesn't like that. Alcoholic, he, sir, and I'm not. He's a gone. Piece he's of gone. Shit, Shut bitch. up. Good. Shut up. He's gone. He doesn't like being made fun of his alcoholism. He's like, oh, he's about to go to real life. I crossed the line there. Going to real life.